Before telephones were common, people used something called a telegraph machine. The machine would send a tapped message called Morse code through telegraph lines over long distances. Spiders do something similar with their webs. Spiders use this messaging to know whether to rush out and devour a meal or to avoid being attacked themselves. Lightly rub the hairs on your arm. Can you feel it? God created spiders to do the exact same with their eight legs. For this experiment, all you'll need is string and a helper. Let's get started. We'll use our sense of touch to feel for vibrations, just like a spider would. The string represents the spider's web. Find two sturdy anchors for your web and tie the string tightly. Spiders anchor their webs too to keep them in place like this. Now I'm going to feel for vibrations. Have a helper pluck the opposite end of the string while you look away. Do you think you'll notice the difference between hard and soft plucks? The spider uses the vibrations on its web to sense whether the visitor on its web is too large or too small. Spiders ignore small vibrations because it's probably just the wind. However, large vibrations could mean danger. The vibrations that cause them to rush out are somewhere in the middle. What type of vibration did your helper make? Did you feel a small, medium, or large pluck? Some of these vibrations are extremely subtle and will be difficult for little learners to detect. If you are struggling to tell the difference between a hard and a soft vibration, try listening to the string instead. Next time you see a spider, you'll know that they are using their web like a telegraph line and appreciate that God created all creatures uniquely. Until next time, stay curious.